Hello, family. Here's the thing. We know that everyone talking about entering into the kingdom of Yah ain't going. How do we know that? Because in Matthew 7, 21 through 23, it says, On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then will he declare to them, I never, never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Wow. He said he never knew you. All these people who said they prophesied in his name, cast out demons in his, in his name. He said, I never knew you. And what is lawlessness? Lawlessness is a disregard for the law. And then we ask, what is the law? The law is Yah's commandments. That is where we begin. That is our measuring stick. He said, if you love me in John 14, 15, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. We can't live any old kind of way. Go to church on Sunday or whatever day you go to church to fellowship and think you're going to heaven, living in sin every day on purpose, thinking that we're taught that grace, the grace of the Most High Yah will cover our sins. No, the Bible tells us that should we continue in sin, that grace may abound? No, we should be striving to live a holy and clean life if our hopes are going to enter into the kingdom of the Most High Yah. So we have to examine ourselves to make sure that we are keeping his commands and we are obeying his law and his law is his word. So don't be deceived. There's so many people out here claiming the name of Yah. But just because you, um, just because you have a garage doesn't make you a car, and just because you go to McDonald's don't make you a cheeseburger. Probably not good analogies, but you get my drift. Just because you say you're a Christian doesn't mean you're entering in. Examine your lives today. Don't be deceived. Be blessed and have a wonderful day. Bye.